Hi, you have tuned in to Mary Precious Jones Huntsville, better known as Precious. And I thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Um, today, my video is going to be on real estate. I know I have not been doing as much on real estate. So my first time home buyers and my real estate people is wondering what's going on because I haven't been putting out that many real estate uh, videos. So I don't want to leave them out. So I'm going to try to come in probably once a week or maybe once every two weeks. And I'm going to try to put something out there for them too, okay? So I want to treat all of my viewers fairly. Okay, so the topic today is I'm still talking about the first time home buyers, and I'm also talking about the ones that have not purchased an REO property, or if you have purchased an REO property, this can be some helpful information to you. Uh, so you won't fall in a trap that I see a lot of buyers are falling in and that trap is is when they purchase a home or REO property, a foreclosed property, they rely on the lender that they are purchasing the home from to pull their title work well. That's not good. So let me tell you a little bit about a title, um, title insurance per se for a house. When you purchase a home, you want to always, always have title pulled. Title work is just like, say like if you're purchasing a car and you buying this car from someone and they don't have title to it, they just selling it to you. Well, you know you cannot get a tag unless you go through a special process or, you know, the title work has to be taken care of, okay? So the title work is just like, Put it in precious terms. You need to be assured that the person you buying this house from, that everybody on the title, the deed, is releasing the house over to you at the sale of this property. You don't want to have one person signing the deed off and later on you found out that 15, 10 people is on the title, on the deed. And so you cannot sell that house. Legally, you do not even own that house until you get a clear title. So, hope you understand what a uh, title is. Getting clear title on a house. Making sure there's no broken link from the time that that house was built. Say like if the house was built back in 1955. And somewhere along down the line, from 1955 up until, say, 1960, um, there was a broken link in that title. So what I mean about that is you can't pinpoint who owned the house a certain amount of years. And if at 1960 the original owner died but then maybe the children came in in 1960 and sold their house to someone else but their mom or dad name was still on that deed but somehow that um son of daughter sold their house okay so now from 1960 they sold this house to say uh john boy so John Boyd bought the house in 1960, but he did not get a clear title. And so when John Boyd got ready to sell the house in 2022, well, guess what? Once that new buyer has the title pulled on the house and back from 1960, the link was broken because the house wasn't legally transferred to the buyer that say John Boyd is buying this house from. So, but anyway, I know that was kind of lengthy, but I was just trying to make sure that I was explaining to you about the title work because I'm dealing with first time home buyers or someone that just not purchasing 
uh, a first time purchasing an audio property, a bank foreclosure. So that title work is very important. So your lender, and let me tell you about some of these lenders um, that have the house foreclosed. They will push this house off on you and they know that the title is not clean. They know that this title work still have five other people on it. They didn't sign to release the house to you and they went on and they foreclosed on the house but they didn't get all the right signatures. So if there are five other people on this particular property, but only one person signed because they couldn't find the other five people, they will go ahead on and push the house on you. That's why most of them be telling you, if you close with me, you don't have to pay any closing costs. But if you go close with someone else, uh, use another attorney, then you gonna have to pay your own closing costs. Don't fall for that. Always get your title work pulled. Even if you want to use that lender attorney, you need to go to your own attorney and just have them pull the title work. If they don't do anything else but pull that title work for you because that attorney that you're closing with, with that lender, do not have your best interest at heart. So. I don't want you falling in that trap and then say two or three years later, when you're trying to sell this house or investors, if you purchase this home, fixed it up and you're trying to sell this house, flip it like within six months or, or less, you're not gonna be able to sell the house until you get that title work straightened out, okay? So just want to come on to let you guys know and just let you be aware because there are so many little little tricks and things out there that a lender will use to their advantage because they know you don't want to pay closing costs so they said close with us you don't have to pay any closing costs so be aware and it's a whole lot more to title work but you know i don't want to make this video too long but it's a lot to title work. When you purchase a home, you want to make sure that you get clear title. Nobody else name is on that title work. So when that person sells it to you, nobody down the line, they don't have any liens on it. And see, liens is a different, um, different video, but I'll come back to you and explain to you about the liens on the property. But right now, I'm, I'm basically talking about the title work, getting your title work pulled. Don't depend on the lender when you're purchasing a REO property, a bank foreclosed property. Do not depend strictly on that lender's attorney when it comes to you putting your own title work, okay? So I can't stress that enough. Well, the attorney is only looking out for their lender, which is their client interest. They don't, they not thinking about you. They just want to push the house over to you. And then once you get that house, that's your problem. Okay. That's your problem. It might take you, I don't know, a year or two. It just all depends on if you can get in contact with the original owners. Now the original owners, if they decide I'm not going to sell, I'm not going to sign, whatever, that goes into a whole nother whole nother ball field okay and i will have my contact information in the description box below um this is mary of a vision realty here in huntsville and my job is to protect you okay so at this time i'm just going to sign off and if you need anything always remember to go look underneath this video in the description box you will have all of my contact information you can uh, email me you can go to instagram you can dm me um you can go to facebook on the mary precious jones i'm basically all over social media and so when you comment if you want to contact me don't put all your information down underneath the youtube make sure you email me all right guys, so I will see you in the next video. I will see you in the future because your future looks good on you. Bye-bye.